and now we have the team from Eye of God, an app featuring an easy to use navigation system that helps people with visual impairment navigate to their destinations by themselves without needing the assistance of others. The app is built with Firebase, Flutter, Google Cloud Platform, TensorFlow and more by Anish, Gayatri, Jatin and Priyanka from the KG Somaya College of Engineering in India. Welcome team. I go with someone else. I, I generally don't go on my own to new places. Eye of God is an easy to use navigation system built for visually impaired people to help them navigate to the destination safely. Hey Siri, open Eye of God. Welcome to Eye of God. Please choose a navigation mode. Start outdoor navigation. Take me to Santa Cruz. As the car approaches, the system alerts the user via voice feedback along with vibrations on the side of the belt. The belt comprises of four vibration motors and the motor corresponding to the region where the obstacle lies vibrates according to the distance from the user given by the depth map. Head north towards Central Library Road. Motorcycle. Car. All systems run completely on device which eliminates the need of internet or cloud-based systems for processing and reduces latency dramatically. Turn left onto Central Library Road. On a turn, the system provides voice as well as pulsating haptic feedback to the leftmost or the rightmost motor depending upon the turn to inform the user the correct direction to turn to. The obstacle avoidance system does not provide voice feedback for relatively less dangerous obstacles. The lack of voice feedback and increased intensity of the motors depicts the same. Take me to Nike. Taking you to your destination. Indoor navigation offers text detection along with obstacle avoidance to guide the user to their labeled destination. If the label is detected in the frame, a pulsating vibration will be produced while a constant vibration will be produced on detection of other obstacles in the frame to avoid collision. You have reached your destination. This is, uh, this is great. Hi, it's so good to be here with all of you. Great project. Hi, Hi Anu. Um, awesome. Well, Hi. this is a great project. Thanks so much for being a part of the Solution Challenge. I really enjoyed Eye of God. Um, Anu, I know you have a couple questions for the team and also if you want to introduce yourself again. Yes. Hi, everyone. My name is Anu Srivastava. I work in developer relations at Google for our cloud artificial intelligence and machine learning team. So we get to teach people how to use these APIs and services so you can integrate uh, machine learning into the applications or services that you're building so you can better solve your problem, which is the whole point of Solutions Challenge. So I'm so excited to, to get to talk to you. Um, this is truly an inspirational solution. What inspires you to tackle this and uh, how did you get started? Um, so it was really difficult for us to pick a cause and objective for this project. We all deliberated and spent time on picking a truly unique and globally resonating topic. Our inclination towards the specially able population grew during our brainstorming session, where we were discussing on one of my dad's project, which is called Drishti, which means vision, where they had taken up a challenge on developing a prototype uh, for reusable lenses, which are affordable to commoners, enabling a wider reach. We reached on a consensus that all are thinking about the abled ones, but what about the ones who are differently abled? So we thought of doing a deep dive session and agreed to collect viable data to form up a cause. The data which we got shocked us. India has nearly 40 million people who are blind or visually impaired against a global figure of 285 million. And in a country like ours, where there's a massive flow of traffic in every part, Navigating busy urban landscapes can get extremely challenging. So seeing the plight of our visually impaired stranded on the roadside without receiving adequate attention from people and fueled by our desires to build something that benefits the people of our society, we came up with our solution, I of God. So we started off by breaking down our idea into smaller chunks, majorly being navigation and obstacle avoidance. The navigation part was relatively easier due to the existence of Google Maps API, but the real research went into the obstacle avoidance. 
So we pulled up our resources to think of more efficient ways of giving the user feedback of the surrounding obstacles. And that's how we laid the foundation of our project. Wow. Um, so speaking of you know, integrating these services into hardware, um, tell us more about the process of actually working with the hardware and what were some of the challenges that you uh, encountered? So uh, unlike the other systems in this domain, ours takes only two inputs, that being the camera image for obstacle avoidance and location for turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So we used a single device, that is the user's smartphone, for capturing the image, processing it, uh, providing uh, control signals to the haptic feedback, and to access the gyroscope for navigation and turning. Uh, the directional vibrational feedback was provided to the user with the help of four vibration motors connected to the ESP32, which are mounted on the waist belt. The smartphone provided control signals to the ESP32 via Bluetooth Low Energy. So that was all the hardware that we used. Uh, moving on to the challenges, the acquisition of hardware component, component was quite challenging during these unprecedented times. Moreover, assembling the circuitry was also very difficult as we weren't able to access any PCB manufacturing or fabrication services. During stage one, we used a cloud backend with Flask for image processing, but we were facing a lot of latency issues, giving us around only two to three FPS. This led us to explore and switch on to uh, the on-device implementation of the same, where we were able to achieve around 15 FPS. Lastly, running multiple TF flight models simultaneously bottlenecked the CPU. And this left us with very little breathing space to incorporate certain features into our solution, such as detecting zebra crossings and guiding the user to walk along a straight path. These were the most significant challenges that we faced. Great, thank you. Thanks so much for, for sharing. And we, we do wanna bring in an audience question. Um, so let's pull that in now. So thanks Deshant for asking, how did you test your app in the real world? So because of the pandemic, we tested the solution on ourselves, which is basically like testing the worst case scenario as we aren't trained to walk without vision. So one of the team members wore the headset as well as um, this belt uh, which allowed us to test the solution. So the second team member was, keep, was keeping a watch on the first one uh, to ensure his safety. And the tester um, um, deliberately ran into obstacles to test our solution and uh, check the user's uh, input and output. So this gave us some interesting results. Um, and we shared them with our user study participant, who is a developer at Google itself. So he shared that uh, one of our features, which is approaching vehicle detection, isn't as useful in the real world as, according to him, uh, his safety depends on the sense of the driver as well as his responsibility. Um, that's why we had to scrape out um, that feature from our project. So testing gave us a really good insight of our project and helped us iron out a few bugs and features here and there. That's great. And thank you for showing that to us. That's that's Absolutely. really amazing. Awesome. So yeah, Anu, did you have any other final comments or questions? Well, I just want to say, again, this is truly inspiring. And something in particular I really liked about your solution is that you're committed to making this a um, affordable apparatus for anyone to acquire. So I think that's really admirable and you're able to accomplish so much with the hardware and the services that you did use. Yeah, great job. Thank you so much. And to the audience, if this is your favorite team, please do vote for the People's Choice Awards that is open throughout this whole show. So please go to slido.com, GDSC21 is the code. Um, and vote for your favorite team. So thank you all so much. It was great learning more about your awesome project. Thanks. Bye, everyone.